Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Armor King guide. In this video, we're going to look at Shadow Needle, the new move he got in Season 4. I'm going to show you setups, properties and a 150 plus damage combo related to the subject. So stick around for that. So Shadow Needle is Shadow Step 1. It comes out in 11 frames and it does 13 damage. On block it's plus 1 and on hit it's plus 8. So basically, it's a jab from the stance. With that plus 1, you have some options. 2-1 is uninterruptible and so is Giant Swing. However, both options are duckable and they can also be sidestepped. To counter that, we have DF2. This is a catch both directions and it's plus 4 on hit. But it's also minus 12 on block, so you do need to be careful. On hit, Shadow Needle is plus 8 and the best follow up is D3. This is sidesteppers, sidewalkers and also backdashes. It's also 17 frames, so they can't interrupt it either. The only thing they can do is crouch, but to counter that we have D2. This is a safe mid and it also catches sidesteppers. Another great option is throws. Giant Swing, Headbutt and DDT are all uninterruptible and with that frame advantage they can't sidestep either. What you can also do is 1 plus 2 2. This is a little risky because the second it can be ducked but if they sidestep it's a natural combo and you also get follow ups. One other option is FF3. This is high and it comes out in 17 frames but it's homing plus frames on block and a launcher on hit. Now those two properties are very jab like but on counter it it's a different story because here the move becomes a launcher. The combo I'd go for is this, DF3, DF1, DF3. There are more damaging options out there, but this one has its perks. Firstly, it works on everyone, bigs and smalls, so you don't need to worry about dropping it. Secondly, the Shining Wizard is easy, there is no long dashing you need to do. And thirdly, the Moonsault MD works, and if they tech roll afterwards, you can go back into Dark Step. Now if you're unfamiliar with the Moonsault tech, then check out my video on it. There's a link in the description and I'll put it on the end screen. What this combo also affords is great wall carry and a rage art combo. You do need to dash with the lariat but it is possible. Now having this tech is all good but what you need to know is how to land the move in the first place. Initially, I couldn't quite figure it out because Shadow Step is not a great stance for Armor King. But after reading the rest of the patch notes, things became crystal clear. Back in Season 3, FF3 was 0 on block and that means that jabs would clash with it and if you went to stance, a DF4 could beat you. Now though it's plus 2 and if you go into stance, it's plus 4 so if they try to jab us, Shadow Needle is going to frame trap them. Obviously to beat this they have some options. One of them is low jab, this will go under the needle and beat us out. Another is size of right, despite the move being a left punch, it doesn't track in this direction. However, we have our own moves to cover that. One of them is spear tackle, this comes out in 14 frames and it tracks to the right. It also beats out low jabs, so that option is close as well. The only thing they can do is size up left or block, but if that happens you end up on the floor, so it's not that bad. One final option is Shadow Sweep. Yes, it's slow and it's minus 13 on block, but it covers both side steps and it catches backdashes, and it's also plus 5 on hit. Based on that, it's clear that FF3 is the ideal entry move, but an alternative is after Tombstone. Here, they get a wake up kick mix up, so in my opinion, this should only be used to end the round. But if that doesn't happen, Shadow Step is useful. If they mid kick, then you get hit but if they low kick you will automatically parry it and that means you get a combo. If they don't do either then the shadow moves come into play. Shadow 2 is probably your best option. This is people on the floor and if they get up then they have to block low. If they start doing that then spear tackle screws them over. One last place that we can use this is at the wall. In this situation people like to sidestep because it gets them away but FF3 will shut that down and from there Shadow Needle applies pressure. If they then get impatient then the move still stuns but rather than getting a full combo we get our wall combos instead. 
Now at the beginning I mentioned a 150 plus damage combo and here it is. Yes, it's situation specific and yes, the ground floors are breakable, but in theory it's entirely possible. Looking ahead, I will be covering the rest of Armor King's changes in more detail, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, check out my other stuff and I'll see you guys in the future.